Most validations will extend generic validation. We'll look at a couple other validations in a second. Okay. Any validation we create is going to be a spring bean. So we've got to declare it in one of those files that I showed you. One of the spring files. Um, spring has a way to chop up spring definitions into several files and then import it. I'll show it to you in a second. But because these, these bean definitions, like a validation for a single document might be like 500 lines of bean definitions, we gave each one its own file so that, you know, it's just a clutter thing. Right? right, so when you create a generic validation, it's going to be a spring bean, it's going to override the validate method, and then we also need to create these properties to validate. So the spring bean needs to have that thing that goes out to the event and then puts it into something in the validation. Anything you want to validate on needs to have some property in the validation bean that it can put stuff from the event into and work on it. Hey, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, sorry, I thought it was funny that the thing that I ended up using as my you know, example was what I wanted to use. Oh, I, wanted, I ended up doing non-zero. Non Accounting line amount positive is the same deal. It just makes sure that the amount is actually positive. So we can nest validations within composite validations. We've got this validation here, this internal billing at accounting line validation, internal billing validation line 69 or 68. Okay. It's a composite validation. <coughs> and then we've got this list of validations here, and then we see on line 71 hey, I've got another bean which just happens to also be a composite validation. So we can create strings of validations. It's like, here's your list of validations. Okay, Here's A, here's B. And then wait a second, here's another list. Which is C, D, and E. Okay, And you can treat that like it's a whole other bean Okay, and just plug the whole thing in at once. Okay? You can do a lot of playing with stuff like that. So this is how you do the order? Yes. It does the order based on that. One second, Leo. It does the order based on, on whatever's in that list. It does the first one first, the second one second, third one third, period. Leo. So you have a, <clears throat> like in this case, you have, uh, let me go, hold on. So you, in this case, you have, Validations, and then you go in and you have, so you have, a, you have more underneath that. So it's going to do those three first, or however many there are. Right, it's going to do that those three first. If one of them cuts out, if there's a should, uh, quit on fail, it's going to cut out of those three, and then go on to the next one in the upper level of validation. But that was my question. Right. Was if, it, if you quit out of if you quit out of one composite, it doesn't mean you quit out of all composites unless the composite validation itself also has a quit on true or quit on fail equals true. Can you make that, how can you make that bubble up? So let's say that you're nested three deep and you get, you get this validation and the world has really come to an end and the world is really evil. Right. And you need to get the hell out of you. Know? How do so, you do that? So the composite validation itself also has a quit on fail that you can set. So if any of the child validations fails, then the result of the whole, the totality of the child validations is going to be a failure. So let's say you quit on fail, okay? And then you go up to the next level, which is the composite validation. It says, whoa, you failed. And then it goes, wait a second, I'm supposed to quit on fail. So that's how you bubble up. Okay, you've got to keep on saying quit on fail, quit on fail, quit on fail. Now, if you really want out, one second, if you really, really want out, then you've got to throw an exception. Okay, if you're like, I'm totally messed up, just throw an exception. Okay, yes? Oh, okay. Did I answer Leo's question? No, I didn't get to ask it yet. I was wondering how... How many 
can you nest before you hit a stack overflow? <laughs> That's for you to decide. I haven't tried it. Okay. Because it, obviously it's recursing, right? It's recursing. So. How many, I mean, I, I don't know, how much so recursion can you you're, do? You're open to however deep your stack gets, right? So. Yeah. So the power of the, your application or, or your validation is limited by the size of your stack. In the Java virtual machine. It was anyway. Do you know how much recursive stuff we do? No. I, is it a recursive function to find out? It probably is. <laughs> <laughs> so your question. That was my question. Okay. How deep can you go? Depends on how deep the Java virtual machine implementation you have lets you go. But you we, really can't infinite loop yourself, really. Can well, you? no, you'd have to like, but still, you know, if you had a hundred layers deep of recursive composite validations, you'd probably be in trouble. Yeah, but it's not like you're creating a situation where one of the, you know, level four is going to jump back to level two and move back. You know what I mean? No, I know, but at the same time, I mean, the stack is a limited resource. There is some point at which if you make your rule complicated enough, it'll break. But I'm telling you, that certainly isn't more than, you know, you've got to go at least 20 layers deep. And I can't imagine a rule validation being 20 layers deep. Leo. Actually, Jeff made a good point for me that I just realized. Okay. And that is that I noticed you weren't using the program to interface paradigm, that you're actually putting the beans inside the validations mm -hmm. and you're not defining them outside and referring to them? Right. For the composite bean itself? Yeah. Yeah, it, I'm bad about that. If, well, is, it, is that, I wonder if that was done for the specific reason that if you had used references and you point references to references, then you could get stuck in a situation where it would yeah, no, look back to itself. It's just my fault. Okay. I was just lazy. Mm -hmm. But would that resolve Leo's concern? No, it would, it would amplify Leo's concern. No, no, no. What I mean is doing it the way that it is now, we are defining the beans inside. No, it would not completely. There is no way to completely resolve Leo's concern until we get like quantum computers that exist, you know, with tons of memory and everything is perfect and beautiful. There's no way. Okay, so let's say that you have one of these validation things that you want to apply. You've got like, internal billing has a list of items.